a nation divided. We will not rest until all of our preborn brothers and sisters are protected under our law. As long as there are people fighting to take away my rights, I'm going to be here fighting to get those rights back. And we're not going to stop. This week, Iowa's strict abortion law went into effect, prohibiting most abortions after about six weeks of pregnancy. Deputy Director of Family Law and Rights, Kaylin Michael Menno, weighs in. A lot of people do hold this specific issue close to their heart, and this was what helped guides them in their decision of voting. The organization published a survey they conducted among candidates ahead of the primary about their stance on women's reproductive health care, which includes birth control, abortion, and health care education. They asked candidates if they support access to all forms of women's reproductive health, some forms of it, or not at all. Six candidates, including just one running for delegate, said they support access to all forms of reproductive health. One declined to respond. Five candidates explained why they support some forms of it, but a vast majority did not respond. With Roe v. Wade being overturned, it has then been left to the states um, to, dis to decide on how to move forward on this issue. So we definitely need congressional candidates who will be out there to champion this issue for us on a nationwide scale. But at the same time, we still need to be mindful of those who we elect to the local legislature. The group says they don't take a no response as an official stance and will update the survey results if they receive more answers. We do highly encourage that these candidates who did not respond do come out and make it clear of where they stand on the issue.